want you to get out of there so they can do the best job that they can because there's there's really no way that uh, just an individual human effort like that can take on flames that I heard at one point were like look, look to be 30 to 40 feet in the air. It, these flames definitely extremely huge and you also have to understand too the firefighters these are trained professionals uh, they're not uh, they're by no means are they just throwing their hands up in the air going up oh, there's nothing we can do if they could do something they would be here and uh, you know and of course the homeowner they've got a personal vested interest so of course they're going to make try to make that last stand but when the flames are so big the smoke is so thick uh, you just have to wonder when do you you know when do you cut your losses and run uh, this home you can see the wind starting to shift right now that smoke this is what we were talking about we've been seeing this all afternoon those that smoke is going to start covering it up and that wind is actually going to feed that fire that's going to continue to burn on that home then you have some vegetation down right there near some of this area where they probably had some plants set up maybe this was an active ranch area all this right now on fire this afternoon and again this is just one of the many ranches that we've been watching just one by one get enveloped by the smoke as these flames continue to walk or move along uh, the uh, 138 over here. This is going to be in the Fennel area, going to be close to the Cajon Junction. Uh, this is an area that a lot of people take from Wrightwood to get to the 15, if that gives you an idea where this is. Here's another home very close to the one, uh, the 138. You can see a lot of black smoke that, uh, that might indicate that uh, fence is burning. You can see some sort of structure there underneath that uh, fire. And this is just, these are spot fires. Uh, this is, gives you an idea how this fire moves. It just it picks up an ember, drops it a little bit farther up, starts another spot fire. And that just continues on and on and on. You can see some of these flames right by the freeway right there, uh, just burning. There's a lot of road construction out here. They've been trying to widen the 138 through this area. It has been a two-lane road forever. But here's some more of these ranches. This one, nothing right now, but those flames so close. And take a look at those trees real quick. I don't know if they really picked that up, but they're moving. And that shows you that there's a lot of wind out there. That pool actually has little waves in it. So there's a lot of wind out there and that's going to keep moving these flames in this direction. More homes, more fire, just so devastating to watch.